One of the really great things about Equid is the amount of flexibility you have in presenting your products to your customers. I'm here under configuration on the design tab and in this video we're going to take a look at how to change the look of your store. I should note a couple of things. Number one, every time you make a change in here, the change is instant, so there's no save button to click. So to illustrate, if I change my image sizes to small and hit refresh on my store, they are instantly updated. Secondly, these changes affect both the instant store and anywhere you've embedded your store on a website. All right, well, let's dig in. And of course, the first one is image size. We have the option to have large, medium, and small images. Large images will create a really dynamic look to your store with a very bold approach. Medium is the default, and of course, as we noted already, small allows you to pack a lot more in. The image aspect ratio allows you to determine what shape your images will take. Square, landscape, landscape three by two, portrait three by four, and portrait two by three. The next option, darken image backgrounds, enable or disable, allows you to give a slight shadow to each image. I'm gonna hit refresh, and you'll notice now that's a little bit lighter than it was. It's something very subtle, but adds a level of attraction if you want it. Under the product card detail and layout, we can center the content, align the content to the left, align it to the right, and justify the content, bringing the title and price up to the same line. Continuing to scroll down, we have information about our product and product cards. We can show and hide different parts of our product. Name, subtitle, price, SKU, the buy now button, the main product image, and the additional product image. Let's take a quick peek at all of these. By disabling the product frame, it removes the frame around the section where each product is highlighted. The product name, subtitle, price, SKU, and buy now button can be shown, hidden, or show on mouse over. So if you wanted a very, very clean look with just the image, you could set all of these to show on mouse over. And now my store will look like this as I hover. If you decide you don't like this, well, it's just as easy to put it back. And again, everything's auto-saved and your store is back to normal quite quickly. Now the buy now button is an interesting one. Again, on mobile, if you use a hover state, it won't work. But on a desktop, this actually looks pretty good. That little call to action can be pretty persuasive. If we wanted to show the additional product image on mouse over, well again, similarly, it flips out your main image and chooses the second image from your product. That's a terrific feature as well. The next section has to do with categories. You can display the category name on the image, below the image, on a mouse over, hide category images, and hide category names. The next section has to do with the product page layout. Two columns where the product's description is on the right, where the product's description is below the image, product's description is on the left, or even three columns. If you have multiple images for your products, they can be positioned horizontally beneath the main image, vertically next to the main image, or you can show them in the full size right below the main image. Managing the sidebar is just as easy. Product name, breadcrumbs, SKU, price, subtitle, options, add to bag, wholesale prices, favorites, and share button can all be turned on and off as required and can be easily rearranged. If I wanted the product subtitle above the price, well, there you go. You just saw that change right there on the screen. The last option here is storefront navigation and colors. You can collapse the categories or expand the categories, and you can enable a few more options here. The color adaptation will enable your store to match the basic theme of your site. You can have a footer menu with navigational links, a sign-in link, breadcrumbs, and sort by. Most of these options get left on on a typical store. Now down below, we have two more main options. You can create your own CSS, and we'll cover that in another video. And you can also download themes and apps from the app market. 
If you needed to add some functionality or other design to your store, there's lots of apps here that you can choose from to enhance your customer experience. Bottom line, Equid gives you unbelievable flexibility with just a few clicks of the mouse, changing how your store looks and feels to best represent your products to your customers.